PC is now at 85 degrees. Two minutes ago, the PC was running at 42 degrees. Turn on FIFA in the menus, and my PC is about to explode. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to day four of the PC Road to Glory. Still shambles, still diabolically bad. Uh, it took us a good half hour to get into FIFA because the game wouldn't launch now today as if it doesn't exist and as if the anti-cheat for PC doesn't work. Um, but I have myself to blame. I, I, I will say that I am the one that wants to be on PC because PC is the greatest platform there is. I never expected EA to be so poor at launching a PC game, but here we are. Uh, maybe that's also my fault for being that uh, optimistic. Nevertheless, I am very excited today because... Well, actually, by the time you see this episode, I think if Armalika uploads at the usual time, which is 3 p.m. UK, actually, technically, today is our eighth year in a row, our eighth annual 40-hour charity stream for cancer research. As you're watching this video, I will already be a good hour at least into the 40 hour charity stream so the first link in the description is the twitch channel as it is on all videos if after this video you want to come participate in our 40 hour charity stream for cancer research um as always the start of fifa we do this type of event uh 40 hours straight grinding fifa on the road to glory i don't know yet what the plan is going to be for an epi I actually think what I want to do, usually we post multiple videos that highlight the charity stream. I think what we're going to do for day five, we're going to count the charity stream as our day five, episode five of the road to glory. So I think what I'm going to kind of, um, our Malika and the, the, the guys that help compile the clips to do is for the charity stream. We have that be one episode. It might end up being a one hour and a half episode, but it'll be the start of the charity stream any major moment that happens within the charity stream, any major pack pull, uh, you know, I don't know if there's going to be too, too much gameplay because that would just be near impossible to get into uh, a 40 hour video, essentially, right down to an hour or two hours long edited. Maybe we'll, I'll, 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 I'll get it sorted out with, with Armalika and a few of the guys and whatnot of what should be in the video. If you guys have ideas, Feel free to let us know even in the comment section here because like I said, as you see this video, we'll be starting the charity stream. So is, if there's anything you want to see in the next Poor Man Road to Glory video for the charity stream, let us know. Like maybe just like good goals. I know the context won't be there because you won't know whether I win or lose the game or not. Um, I think maybe the finished draft article, like just a minute of the finished draft article and then maybe just the reward from the draft and then same thing like if i were to pack something good um we would show it from the draft type of thing and that should and then any milestones like 10 hours 20 hours 30 hours and then the 40 hours and our, our final donation and how much we make and whether or not i have to shave the mustache and sport it for the month of october that's the that's the punishment or the challenge for this year to look like tom Selleck for a month i'm pretty excited about that i have no idea i forgot what i look like with a mustache but um not being able to shave a mustache for a month, being that I'm Arab, uh, probably means I'm going to have a Borat mustache, unfortunately. Now, uh, that is what the plan is for tomorrow. For today, we are doing our first ever project something. Usually we do project team of the year, right? That starts December 1st and we build up a, uh, a war chest of packs for the team of the year event. But what I wanted to do this year on the road to glory to have some more fun is do projects for the next promo coming up. So as we know, the one to watch promo is tomorrow. Um, today is going to be all about project one to watch. So we're going to try and build up as much as we can a war chest of packs for the charity stream uh, for next episode. So not only is next episode the charity stream, but it also will be the culmination of our culmination. Is that even the right word or am I just trying to sound smart? The That will be the... Um, You'll see the results of Project One to Watch from today and yesterday's grind. And then we'll be opening those packs. Not to mention Project One to Watch will be every single draft we do. I, I feel like these FIFA points will probably be gone uh, by the end of the charity stream because I'm going to be putting them all into the draft. I can foresee next episode being an insane jump in the coin balance and maybe even the pack pulls and stuff like that, right? But that's how this series goes. It, it's going to be a very short period of time where I just have crap things and crap players. I mean, if you look at the squad right now, we are killing it. We are killing it. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm using this team in squad battles uh, to get that rare mega pack for Project One to watch, of course. 
in terms of killing it, I am very proud of this team. I know yesterday, we, we for yesterday's grind, I got a little bit toxic. Um, you know, I, I watched some other content creators, specifically pro players, uh, Nightwatch and a few other guys playing the game. And dude, three days in and I'm already letting this game tilt me, right? So once again, I'm going to try and challenge myself to just be a more positive gameplay grinder and try and work on myself and if i find myself being a little bit toxic we'll just take a break we'll, we'll do we'll do menu grinding we'll do that type of stuff i want this to be a good year of experience for you guys and as i learn how to play this game better i want to then be able to share how to play this game better how i think you should play this game tiki taka football intelligence etc not just breaking mechanics which, although I feel like I'm going to have to learn some of those things because otherwise, once we get to the higher divisions or the higher ELOs and champs, I'm just going to get smashed. I hope you guys aren't just expecting me to have a crappy road to glory. The, the whole point of this is it's an ultimate no FIFA point road to glory, right? The ultimate poor man road to glory has always been an ultimate version of a no FIFA point grind. It's, it's a poor man trying to keep up with the rich man of the FUT world, right? with no rules other than not giving EA more money than the original purchase price of the game. I shouldn't have to explain that every episode, but there's still comments. So, project one to watch is today. Longest intro of all time. Uh, we are building up our, our packs. I plan today, and I'm sure Armalika will show you guys the completion of this grind. I mean, obviously, silver, uh, silver and bronze packs will open as we grind today. Um, but... I do have a plan of attack. So we are going to try and go through all of the remaining advanced SBCs. So that's going to be another, what is that, 10 relatively big packs for Project One to watch tomorrow. We're going to go through any and all other objectives that we can. Like I said, we're going to use the silver players to get the rare mega pack. That'll be another good pack. Um, tomorrow, we'll take the grind to the draft. I don't think I want to do that today. There's going to be a lot of menu grinding. Um, today specifically so as of right now that's kind of what we're sitting at for seven packs nothing special but with all the sbcs to do today is a thursday so we should get marquee matchups for 6 p.m content we'll be doing uh hybrid leagues league of nation hybrids some of these are pretty expensive which is a bit annoying but it's okay we'll just open bronze packs and make the money back apparently the bpm is very good today so we'll get on that uh marquee matchups as mentioned reset in an hour and 35 minutes so we'll be able to get another five packs for project otw um and then also i believe we have a fair amount of packs unlocked here so we've got ourselves a small prime pack through objectives or the season progress we've got ourselves another seven games on vinny so we'll actually be able to use vinny for a weekend league run maybe our first ever weekend league run will have vinny in it there we go so we got i mean 10 games right why not our final 10 games will we'll have Vinny. I cannot wait to get this beautiful man. He's going to be our center back as well for the foreseeable future. Look at this card. And he'll give uh, Gakpo full chem, who I am in love with. Gakpo is my favorite team in the club right now. That inform beautiful man. As always, not the greatest packs, but if your luck is in, your luck is in, boys, right? It doesn't really matter too much what type of pack you open. It matters more that you open a consistent amount of packs. It is gambling at the end of the day, and... To try and uh, beat the house, you got to just try and get more and more odds in your favor, right? Which I guess in FIFA just means open more packs. Uh, get a gold pack there, which again, not that impressive, but we've packed some crazy players out of one rare packs before. Two rare gold player pack, very, very nice. 75 to 83, I might just open that right now because there's just, there's, well, actually, if Rafi gets an OTW, right? He's an 83. You could technically, I could get Tyler Adams even in that too, right? Right. So that's the grind for the day, boys. Let's get into it. Uh, you guys will see all the updates. Like I said today, if you're looking for crazy pack polls, that will be next episode. And unfortunately, I guess with the 40-hour charity stream going on, next episode won't be Saturday upload. Uh, I'm going to try and get Armalika to upload that as early as possible on Sunday. Sunday will most likely be my day off, 40 hours straight of streaming. I'm most likely going to be sick, like actually sick. So I usually tend to take the Sunday off, the day post charity stream. So maybe we'll do, that'll be the plan. I can't believe that I'm organizing the YouTube grind and the stream grind live in a YouTube recording, but here we are. So let's get into the day's grind. Right, 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 right. 
This is how you do SBCs way back. This is how. You see this? All untradeable garbage from the grind. Dude, the Fudbin solutions are 10K for this? You can just do it with untradeables. It definitely didn't take me 15 minutes to get it done. All that for a 25K pack. But we did it! We did it! All right, whatever. So is that just under 5K to buy those two, the rest untradeable? Whatevs. We'll get it done. Yeah, two of the guys were in our silver uh, silver, silver packs, but that's okay. But whatever, dude. Two hours to launch PC FIFA. Nice one, EA. Take the servers down. Release a maintenance. Now PC players can't even load the game. It doesn't load. Nevertheless, third squad done. We spent probably 5K to get this one done. But the prime gold player pack for Project OTW. Let's go! So this one I'm not going to worry about till tomorrow. I feel like prices are going to crash for this. But I don't want to, uh, I don't want to overdo it. We'll, we'll wait on that one. Let's go! Rare Electrum Pack! That was what? 4K? 5K to do? How much is Pepe? Hey, man. Bro, he's a thousand coins. He's untradeable. I, I'm just going to use him. There we go. All right, baby! Mega Pack done. That one cost, like, again, 4 or 5K, maybe. No problems, though. Project OTW is working, and I believe it is 6 p.m. So, let's see what type of 6 p.m. content we got. Do I have to, like, log? I better not have to log out and log in again. But let's, uh, let's see. What do we got here? A rare mix pack as the final product of a rare, of a marquee matchups is not a good sign. That means it's probably going to be pretty dead, but let's check it out. Um, Portugal, one Portugal player, three silvers, the rest bronzes. Oh, BPM! Is BPM about to boom because Timmy's are dumb? Yes, you only need 14 cam, but Timmy's are dumb. Bronze, left mids, cams, center mids, right mids, center backs, right backs, left backs will be up in price a little. Not a lot, because I, I would assume that this pack's going to be garbage. Oh my god, three common gold players. EA are frauds. Silvers, uh, silver pack method might be viable. An election player pack is pretty horrible. Uh, Spain, two. Players for one club, min three. Two rares, and uh, it's got to be silvers. Hey, bronze upgrades, though, means we've got a war chest of silvers to use to get this one done. Uh, so not bad for an electrum pack. Inter and Roma. Ooh, hold on a second here. Inter or Roma players, one. Italians, two. Three clubs. You just use one league. I mean, I just get an untradeable Inter... Uh, or Roma player in there, right? And then just use one of the off league 72 rated. Maybe use one or two of your higher rated. I'm talking 81 or 82 untradeables, right? Would be smart for Inter or Roma if you have them or Italy. And then you can use all of your silvers that you use from the bronze upgrade method, right? All of your untradeable silvers, you can put them into this and this. So that's basically two two packs done for free. Again, not the best packs, but nevertheless, you get two trade. You get rid of your untradeables for two tradables packs. It's still good. You never know. Good pack of Mbappe from a mixed premium pack. And then a Prime Electrum is actually better than the rare mixed, in my opinion. And it's 75 rated, which is, once again, two or three or four decently high rated guys. And then you can use any any silvers you want, maybe even some bronzes. Man City or Man United. Can't, I'm so excited for Prem to be back. Can't wait to watch Leeds on Sunday. We'll be able to watch a lot of football uh, during the charity stream, too, which will be fun. 10 players, two players from one club, max five and three rare. So again, you use three or four uh, untradeable, higher rated players if you have from City and United and then just use your silvers. So that's pretty great. That is pretty great. Um, I, in terms of efficiently doing it. I mean, I would argue that these packs are all god awful. It's all tradable. Okay, so I mean, I, it is kind of dead, but the game do technically doesn't come out until tomorrow, guys. So for anybody getting mad uh, because the content isn't the best from EA, technically the game isn't even released until tomorrow. So we got to remember that, right? I, I, I was a bit negative yesterday. I want to be a new version of myself. I want to try and be positive, look at the positives. And uh, it's fine. It's early days. I know a lot of stuff is untradeable. A lot of stuff is annoying. Yesterday, it was pretty obnoxious that they released, um, uh, what was it? Special packs in the store before the game's out is is, ev is low for even EA. Having said that, we're going to keep it positive and keep it going. Is there anything for objectives that we can grind? Anything new they've added? Because yesterday, they did a couple of good things. These two were almost done doing organically. So a couple of more good packs for Project 1 to watch. They don't give us... 
they don't give us any content and crappy marky matchups and there's no way they've done this you guys are bsing you guys are trying to get a reaction out of me and i'm not going to fall for it That content's god awful. Haha! <laughs> Positivity. What a great start to FIFA 23. PC players can't even log into the game. The game's broken for most people. People's accounts are being banned for packing bronze players. The game isn't even out yet. There aren't even in NVIDIA drivers for PC players. The game blows up most, P most PCs. But hey, at least before the game's out, there's four new sets of packs that you can buy for coins, of which some of them are untradeable and barely any lower priced. I'm really enjoying my FIFA 23 experience. This has absolutely not been the worst release they've ever had for a video game in the history of modern day mankind. It doesn't say untradeable. I mean, I think the only reason... Oh, wait. All items untradeable. Oh, my God. They're charging 100,000 coins for untradeables? They're charging... Dude, 2,000 FIFA points. Like, do you guys understand? Even without your EA Play Pro discount. Bro, it's like $25. That is a real world. That is actually real money. A $25 for something you can get nothing from. 25 real dollars. That's out to stop the market crashing. Well, we found the EA employees as non-subs in the chat. I, 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 I know far too many people that are in that boat. But again, everybody gets greedy, man, and wants to jump on board because they think they're going to be the next crypto bro. Like, you know, you see all these crypto bro frauds and all of their profit. And then it's the millions of average Joes out there that think they're going to be the next guy. And oh, God, I don't even do it. I can't even tell you how many of my good friends I've like gone for a coffee for. And they're so in the red right now. Now, I am as well. Don't get me wrong. Trust me. Even the blue chip companies that 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 I have very safe investments in. I'm in I'm in the red everywhere. But it's not as bad as some, I suppose. That's that's something you gotta look at. Oh no, Diddy, I, I get it, bro. I, I dude I I just like having these conversations with you guys. You don't need to justify your FIFA point spending to me. I, I get it. Uh, look, it's not like I'm the most responsible person ever on everything. I mean I, I spend a pretty stupid amount of money uh a week on treating my family to like nice dinners and i mean extended family my wife my kids like you know in-laws my parents my mom my whatever i could just as easily have everybody in my house and we could do a way cheaper meal but you know you gotta live as well i get it right life is hard it, it work sucks at times so you want to spend some of your money on fifa points make yourself a bit happier i i all all for it i just like having these conversations because i think a lot of people have a difficult time where spending wisely and doing a few things with FIFA points to make their enjoyment happier Amen. versus doing that and then falling into the addiction. And, oh, what's another 12K? I'm just going to put it on the visa. What's another 12K? Oh, my God, the one to watches are out. Look at these promo packs. Ah, you know, I said I would only spend the, the last month's savings that I saved for the launch of FIFA. What's another 12,000? Oh, my God, I watched, you know, this person pack this on their stream and this person. Ah, what's another one? And then in a month, you go look at your visa statement and you're $1,300 in the hole so that is what i try to at least bring to light for you guys that's all so with fifa being released i hope you guys are excited for it i hope you guys have fun don't feel guilty if you want to spend a few fifa points or you grind this game and you you know you get mad and whatever don't let these conversations that i say make you feel bad about your enjoyment of the game but do it responsibly boys that's all i'm trying to get across here Sometimes I talk a bit toxic. Sometimes I go hard on EA. Whatever you want to, whatever you want to say. Sometimes I'm not very politically correct. I'll admit that. But it's at the end of the day, I just want you guys to be responsible, man. I know how hard it is to make money. I know how hard a lot of you guys work. You want to talk about like being a hero? Getting up at 5 a.m. every day and going and working on a construction site and just doing good by your family is a hero to me. But you then falling into a trap and dumping your money into FIFA points, that's just sad, man. It really is. You can have a road to glory. You can have fun. You got that chicken leg psychomaniac running an account like he's running Barcelona and he packed a mid Eusebio already. So where there's, where there's a will, there's a way. Where the pack god's on your side, no matter how much of a degen you are, you'll still get good luck without dumping money into FIFA points, right? So, I mean, for God's sake, if, if you want your proof of not spending money on FIFA, look at Zway's RTG. Look at Zway's RTG. The guy's born in 1979. He's still... 
does not know even how SBCs work. He's been a content creator on YouTube for 12 years. He's 48 years old or something like that. Doesn't know how to run an RTG. And yet, man's got Eusebio without dumping any money on FIFA points. Fantastic. Seriously. Absolutely fantastic. A 70s baby, and he's still vibing with the kids. God bless him. Chad, I'm going to fill up my coffee. I'll be right back. Hold on. I'll get you guys a banger here. Oh, hey, Sway. I didn't know you were here. <laughs> Dude. All right. Let's see how Division Rivals feels today, boys. Oh, wow. He's got Harry Kane. That's kind of a cool team, actually. All right. Uh, maybe I just take the risk with his weak foot there. Hey, man. How did he sprint cut like that? Like watching my entire offense not move while watching seven of his players defensively read every play I make is ridiculous. Anyways, it's one of those things you got to just try and overcome. This could pose problems for the defenders. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from... Gwenez didn't even hit the target? Let me guess, right? Of course. No business. Yeah, right. But I melt four players and his keeper makes a wonder save. We're fine. Positivity. For no reason. Never mind. Bro. I'm in a bridge. I said I wasn't going to rage, and I'm going to rage. Play. That's game over. This is hilarious. It's just from kickoff. Oh, good lord, chat. Whoa! Where's my right back going? Last kick. You don't even let me. You don't even let me make the run. Well, that was a waste of time. They can't be separated. Hey man, like this is me pressing tackle here. Look at what my player does. It's another year of the same garbage. Look at this. Because he's loaded a shot, and for some reason the game wants him to score. Look at look at what my player does when all I'm doing from here is clicking tackle. Look at what he does. Look at look at this. What what happens to his ankle? Shatters his whole ankle and everything instead of just poking the ball away. And under this level of pressure from here. Full sprint, he does this? And both of my players, look at both of my players. Look at both of my players. Neither one of them register that the ball's anywhere near them. So three players get completely taken out of the game. And it's a nonsensical pass through both of my players. And he doesn't even know, this guy doesn't even know what he's doing. You, you think he did this on purpose? He has no idea what he's doing. This guy's just button mashing. Do I like this year's chem system? I do, yeah. I mean, you can kind of build whatever you want and you don't get penalized for it. Alrighty. Move your keeper. He moved his keeper for the far post. I shoot near post and Chesney still saves it. Okay, 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 okay. Bro, I thought that was an incredible... I saw him move his keeper. I was going to finesse far. And then I shot near because he moved Chesney wide. Chesney says, no worries, Heavy D. I'm still going to make the save. I'm an idiot. Now I'm going to get countered. Why am I taking that shot, bro? Declan Rice. And it's with McKenney. Luna Fernandes. What? Where's my team, man? Why is this so e- Bro, I can't do this again. I can't do this again. It seems like it's so easy for everybody I play to just walk through my team and then Adama wins the ball back. Chance to do damage. It's too easy. Did he just score through my goalkeeper with his left foot? Okay. Return to Lozano. Oh, maybe the equalizer. That's a good goal. Is that was that a good goal? I don't even know anymore. I feel like that was a good goal. What? No way. He's going to score this. Wonderful chance. And there is the goal to reestablish their advantage. Mines here, I think. Surely the equalizer. 
What a goal. Do you see that pump fake like I was going to cut inside and then went back out wide? There's a slide draw pass. Pen! Oh, Cody! Oh my god. I don't even know if he has good pens. Well, some penalty doesn't mean it's a yellow card. I think he's got it right. Let's go, Cody. Got a boy. Oh, that's a well-timed pass. Oh! Oh my lord, Cody! Oh my god! Yo! Jeez! Let's go! Jesus Christ. Alright, GG boys. We'll take it. Bro, man's hitting me with corner celebration runs when doing this. Holding full sprint, shooting from here with Traore's left foot, bro. Shooting from here. Hey, man, what is my keeper doing? And he hits me with a full run to the corner celebration. All right, brothers. This might be the LG of the day. We need our rest for the charity stream. To those of you on YouTube, jump into the charity stream, boys. If you're at the end of the... Oh, my God. If you're at the end of the video, then you know it's time to click that link in the bottom of the description. Jump into the charity stream. Help keep me awake. Let's raise some big money for charity. And that for me making us move inside. Well, Jesus. coming close to hitting the target from there. And it could run onto it here. Oh, that is a majestic goal. Can he make a count? And a goal. Cody, my boy. Cody, my boy. Cody! Cody feels like he's got a five-star weak foot, man, for sure. Cody on a hattie. Cody on a hattie. Cody on a hattie. What's this guy changing up? Cody on a hattie! A really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Oh, my lord have mercy Cody Gakpo that deserved a goal oh my god Cody should be on five. Oh, jeez good block interception to snuff out the danger well you've got to savor such moments Gakpo What the hell? He has teammates around him. Can he finish? And a goal! Wonderful stuff! Console player dumped his entire bank savings into FIFA points. Still getting slapped by Chucky Lozano and Cody Gakpo, baby! Neymar, get out of here! Dembuz, get out of here! Haaland, get out of here! With your stupid ponytail! Bruno, see ya! Renato, bye! 90k for a freaking 80 rated player? Nah. Give me a Thomas Lamar every day of the week. God bless. And on that note, I love you guys. We'll see ya, hopefully, in the 40 hour charity stream. YouTube, click that link down below. Um, we'll see you guys in the charity stream. And as I mentioned, it's gonna be a little while before the next Road to Glory video is up because it's gonna be a full 40 hour charity stream episode of the poor man road to glory that will be released on sunday at some point we're gonna aim for 8 a.m uk but it might be hard to do that we'll catch you guys on the flip side peace